Hey, Brent Porcy with TopVelocity.net. Really cool study that just came out called Three-Dimensional Dynamic Analysis for the Lower Extremity During the Fastball Baseball Pitch. So what this is looking at is the overhead hand or over the top throw, the three-quarter throw, and the sidearm throw. Basically what they found is the forces coming from the drive legs are really specific to the arm slot. For example, if we see here and we look at the, the pitcher coming at us, we can see the, the arrow and overhand throw between these two, right at arm cocking, is the, the forces are going up or coming or in a straight position. And then if you look at the three quarters throw, it starts to drop slightly. And then in the sidearm throw, it starts to get more this way. So basically, uh, a guy who's over the top, his forces coming off the ground are more coming up or going straight. If we look also in the side angle, are more starting to go linear. And we see as the slot goes three quarters to sidearm, the forces start going that way. For example, a sidearm guy, he's going to load, probably push his butt back. And now his forces are going to start to go in the direction of where the arm goes. Same thing with the over the top. He's going to be more leaning back. When he goes to drive, the forces are going to be more going in the direction that the arm is going. Okay, So it's important to know that. We, we saw a study in the past that showed that the trunk dictated the arm slot. Well, that's how the kinetic chain works. The trunk is receiving energy from the legs. So if we're directing energy, say, in a straight pass to the camera, then the arm should receive that energy. First the trunk, then the arm. If the legs are being directed away from the camera in this direction, that's where the energy goes. That's where the arm extends. So great studies showing the full kinetic chain process and how important the legs are to dictating that. So what are the legs doing? They're not only providing the forces, the ground forces, but they're directing the forces that is going to move the kinetic chain. This actual study went even deeper and it said the hip extension of the drive leg, the knee extension of the drive leg, had more effect on the, the vertical forces, the forces moving up, right? Because we don't we don't go down to release, we go up to release. And then also the, the ankle, the ankle was driving more of the linear forces. So it was really helping the body push those forces more towards the target as opposed to straight up. So it's that's awesome to understand how the hip and knee are more vertical forces and the ankle is more linear forces, getting you going to the target. The, the landing leg, uh, was there the forces in the, the leg were to break and, and work with that energy and transfer that energy up. And we have other studies showing that, that the back leg is a propulsion of energy and it pumps energy into the core proximal segment, segments. The front leg is a breaking and a pumping or pushing of that energy into the distal segments or into the arm. So the back leg's pumping it in, the front leg's breaking and pushing it out, right? Just more clear understanding of how the kinetic chain works and how the legs are really the forces, the generator, the source of that energy, directing that energy, uh, which is so pivotal. And, and at the end of the day, like we say, Top Velocity is the best in the world at training this. We're the only one who has a system around this lower half leg drive force vector approach to powering efficient, healthy kinetic chain. So check out this case study. It's by far one of the best I've seen and really you get a good understanding of the kinetic change.